I would say Oprah Winfrey, what people are beginning to do is see you for who you are. So Rose McGowan has put Oprah on blast. Rose recently called out Oprah on Twitter over her past associations with some. Now, it's a setup, a setup. Don't nobody say the same about you for 20 goddamn years. What the f is you talking about? Okay, there has been a lot of buzz in the entertainment industry lately. And one artist who keeps grabbing the headlines is none other than Oprah Winfrey. Let me tell you, it's all for the wrong reasons. And Cat Williams is joining the conversation with yet another bombshell about why Oprah Winfrey should never be trusted. But what exactly did Oprah do to ignite such a frenzy on the internet? And why does Cat believe that Oprah should be viewed with skepticism? Well, get ready to fasten your seatbelts, because this is going to be one wild and exhilarating ride. We're about to delve into the captivating tale that has sent shockwaves through the entertainment world. Now let's take a moment to dive into the fascinating world of Oprah Winfrey, the queen of talk shows and a beacon of inspiration for millions. When we hear her name, our minds are filled with images of heartfelt conversations, life-changing stories, and the power of self-discovery. Oprah has built an empire on her ability to connect with people, to bring their stories to the forefront, and to shine a light on important issues. She has become a symbol of hope, resilience, and empowerment. But what if we told you there's more to Oprah than meets the eye? Beneath that charismatic smile and inspiring demeanor lies a world that few have seen, a world of secrets, controversies, and hidden agendas. Yes, my friends, there is a darker side to Oprah Winfrey, one that has been the subject of whispers and speculations in the shadows of Hollywood. While Oprah may have positioned herself as a champion of truth and authenticity, there have been whispers that she holds the key to the hidden truths of the entertainment industry. Some believe that she has the power to make or break careers, to control narratives, and to manipulate the public perception of celebrities. Could it be that Oprah, the beloved figure who has touched so many lives, is actually a gatekeeper to the secrets that lurk behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood? Prepare yourselves because Cat Williams is about to spill the tea and expose the truth that lies beneath Oprah's glamorous facade. According to Cat, there's a disturbing pattern where Oprah has shown a tendency to disrespect and undermine the achievements of most black artists behind the scenes. Now you might be thinking, is this all just baseless gossip? Well, think again, because there's some concrete evidence to back up these claims. Recently, the talented actress and comedian Monique opened up about how Oprah played a significant role in derailing her career. Monique is seeking a simple apology from Oprah after all these years of heartache and disappointment. Now, if you've been living under a rock, let me set the stage for you. Monique, a talented actress who won an Academy Award for her outstanding performance in the 2009 film Precious, had all the makings of a rising star. But little did she know, her journey would take an unexpected turn, leading to a downward spiral in her career. It all began in 2004, when Monique crossed paths with Daniels, a renowned director. Their connection grew stronger, and Monique became an integral part of his directorial debut, Shadow Boxer. Their collaboration continued, culminating in Monique's unforgettable role in Precious. The film garnered critical acclaim, putting Monique in the spotlight. This was the moment that Daniels, along with producers Winfrey and Perry, saw as an opportunity to propel her career even further. However, a rift emerged when Oprah requested Monique to promote the film without any compensation. Understandably, Monique, with her own family to support, couldn't accept such an arrangement. Things took a bad turn with Winfrey when, just a month after the award show, she had a special episode of The Oprah Winfrey Show featuring Monique's family, but not Monique herself. Here's the twist. Monique and her family weren't on good terms because of some terrible things that allegedly happened to her at the hands of her brother. Before the episode was recorded, Winfrey called Monique and dropped a bombshell. Her brother, Gerald Imes, wanted to say sorry for what he did to her when they were kids. Monique didn't want any part in the episode, but she reluctantly agreed to let it go ahead. When the episode aired, it didn't just have Monique's brother talking, but also her mom, dad, and another brother. They all played down the seriousness of what Monique went through, according to THR. This hit Monique hard because she thought Winfrey knew she had a rocky relationship with her mom and wouldn't have allowed her to be on the show. I shared with her 
that me and my mother was not talking. I shared with her we were in a really bad place. I shared with her I was hurt. And, you know, trying to... Kept it because she... Because she didn't have to call me up. She didn't have to say my brother was coming. She could have just ran with the shit and let it happen. I d her for that. Now I begin to see commercials with my brother, my mother, my father, and my other brother. Now, the reason why that means so much is because in the conversation we had about my brother, we then went deeper. According to Kat, Oprah has a long history of being fake in the entertainment industry. He says that Oprah pretends to be friends with famous people to get information that will make her TV show more popular. And if you thought Monique was the only one who had a problem with Oprah, well, another artist named 50 Cent also spoke out against her. 50 Cent, the outspoken rapper and mogul, has joined the conversation calling Oprah an Oreo. Now, for those of you who don't know, an Oreo refers to someone who is black on the outside but acts more like a white person on the inside. 50 Cent accuses Oprah of prioritizing the needs of white Americans over her own black community, claiming she has lost touch with her roots. He goes on to say, started out with black women's views, but has been catering to middle-aged white American women for so long that she's become one herself. Another artist has come forward, and this time, it's rapper Ludacris, who's stepping into the ring to throw some punches. Let's dive into the juicy details of Ludacris's encounter with the legendary media mogul. Back in the early 2000s, Ludacris was on top of the world, riding high on the success of his hit tracks like Gossip Folks and Welcome to Atlanta. With his mainstream fame skyrocketing, he found himself in the hot seat during various interviews. But it was his appearance on The Oprah Winfrey Show that left a lasting impression, and not in a good way. Ludacris joined the ranks of those who felt the sting of Oprah's criticism. While promoting the film Crash in 2005, Ludacris made an appearance on her show, only to find himself feeling unwelcome and uncomfortable in her presence. In interviews following the show, Ludacris didn't hold back. He revealed that when the camera stopped rolling, Oprah took him to task for the derogatory language used in his music. Talk about feeling undermined and judged. In an interview with GQ magazine, Ludacris spilled the tea, sharing, she edited out a lot of my comments while keeping her own in. It's her show, of course, but we were discussing racial discrimination, and she gave me a hard time as a rapper when I was there as an actor. But the drama didn't end there. Ludacris recounted a private conversation that took place after the taping where Oprah supposedly made it clear that by having rappers on her show, she believed she was empowering them. However, Ludacris didn't buy into that narrative. He described the whole experience as being at someone's house who doesn't really... Have you, been, you made this Oprah yet? Have I made it to Oprah? Yeah. I've been on Oprah a okay. long time ago. Okay, so, yeah. I haven't made it back, but I was on there one time. I'll tell you, How did it like, go? How did it go? You know what? We, we talking about the first time I was the first, the first time he was on You didn't Oprah. see it? No, I, I missed this you one. You didn't hear about it. Is this, is this the one about the N-word? Well, no, this is about, this is about <laughs> the movie. She, no, no, yeah, I do remember. Yeah. She cut you off. Right, right, She right. cut you. She edited out what you had to say. Pretty much. Okay. That's what it came down to. That okay. was the only time I was on Oprah. Okay. And, and if you thought the revelation stopped there, think again, because another artist has called out Oprah, and this time it's not someone from the black community. It appears that she is fake through and through. Even actress Rose McGowan took to Twitter and described Oprah Winfrey as fake as they come, due to her friendship with Harvey Weinstein. Seal also accused Oprah Winfrey of being aware of Harvey Weinstein's terrible behavior towards young women for a long time without taking any action. In case you've been out of the loop, let me catch you up on the Harvey Weinstein saga. This prominent figure in Hollywood found himself in serious trouble, facing numerous allegations of misconduct and disturbing incidents involving multiple women spanning nearly a decade from 2004 to 2013. Finally, in 2022, he faced trial in Los Angeles, and the jury didn't hold back, finding him guilty on all charges. Interestingly, Harvey Weinstein was known to have a close friendship with Oprah Winfrey. Given the nature of their relationship, some people couldn't help but speculate about Oprah's potential involvement or influence in Harvey's actions. Now, according to Kat, even though there are numerous claims about mistreatment in Hollywood, it's difficult to expose them because Oprah is well protected by powerful people in the industry. It takes a lot of bravery to speak out because if you do, people might think you're crazy or even hurt you. 
During an interview, Kat didn't hold back and said, The production business, I understand what is worth doing for ratings. I understand what is worth doing when the industry is canceling one black guy. I know what happens when they are going to elevate another. And I know what happens when they don't care about either of them. Although he didn't mention any names directly, it is widely understood that Oprah is implicated in these matters. But what are your thoughts on this? Do you agree with Kat's claims, or do you have a different theory? Leave your comments below. And while we eagerly await more exciting updates, be sure to watch the next video where we have some scorching hot gossip waiting for you.